to mean Christ-like, but it also says in here that um, we, we sin daily, and you break, if you break one commandment, you break all. Well, Scripture is very clear. If we say we know Him and we don't keep His commandments, we're a liar and the truth isn't in us. Scripture says very clearly that not everybody inherits the kingdom, but those that do the will of the Father. The fact is that the Christian does good, does righteousness. Yes, there is sin, but the thing is, the thing that we find is that, you know, here's, here's the Apostle John, he can write, little children, I write to you that you sin not, but if you do, He's saying we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He's made propitiation for our sins. The thing is, as God's people, when we sin, we confess our sins. He's faithful and just to forgive our sins. We have, we have uh, propitiation that's been made, and there's no condemnation. We live, we live in this, as a Christian, we live lives where the Spirit of God is producing this fruit of love. And love fulfills the law. There's no law against love. Love is the summation. And so what happens is the Spirit is fueling this kind of fruit in the life of a believer. And every imperfection is being burned off by the blood of Christ. It's just... It's covered, it's covered, it's covered. So you have the Spirit produce it. We are God's workmanship. And good works are foreordained and they're being worked out in the Christian life. And every imperfection, every blemish is washed away. That's the picture. Christ, Christ's blood just washes the imperfection. But if somebody looks at their life, and, and basically it's characterized by unrighteousness, Scripture is very plain. That person is not converted. John's very plain. You practice, righteous, you practice unrighteousness, you are a child of the devil. You are not a child of God. Those who are born of God will practice righteousness. That is very much taught in Scripture. So, what we want to look at is this. 2 Corinthians 5 says that if somebody... Is, has been truly converted, if they're truly born again, if they're a true Christian, they're new creations in Christ, old things pass away, all things become new. Basically what you have is a person who is dead in trespasses and sins has been made alive together with Christ. And that life is radically different than the life they had before. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. But it is moving to perfection from one degree of glory to another, the Spirit of God is transforming us more and more and more and more into the likeness of Christ. And that is a reality. And where that is absent, well, you have people that have this form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. You see, the power is transformation. The power is new creation. If that new creation, new creative reality is not present, then it's not true Christianity. It's not, it's not biblical Christianity. Life transformation will always accompany the forgiveness of our sins. Always. When God declares the sinner righteous, legally, they're forgiven, it always accompanies a real, practical transformation of life. And so, again and again and again, Scripture says don't be deceived. Don't be deceived into thinking you're a Christian. Don't be deceived into thinking your sins are forgiven unless your life has been transformed the way that Scripture says. I can't see forgiveness, but I can see a transformed life. And Scripture is replete with warnings. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. If there isn't the transformation, there is also not the forgiveness. Don't believe you're heaven bound if you're still the same old person chasing sin in the same old way. 
because Christ's salvation is way better than that. So, so what you're saying is, if you hot or cold, you can't be lukewarm. Am I right? I know you can't be. You if you're lukewarm, you get spit out of his mouth. Yeah. 